Hi everyone, Eric here. I am one of the education specialists for Eastern Banks Learning and Life Center, and we are back for another video. If you are new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, share this video, and do not forget to click the notification bell in the left or right corner of your screen to be notified of when we drop new videos, which is every single week. Um, happy holidays again. We are back after the Thanksgiving holiday with a new video in our series called Life Cycles. Um, but before we get into the video, we have a fundraiser happening right now. Click the link in the description box. Our fundraiser is called the Back to Our Roots Fundraising Campaign. And through that link, you will be able to learn more about the campaign and how you can support us in the work that we are doing. We would like to thank our latest subscriber for being here. Thank you so much. Like we mentioned, we are discussing the life cycles of onions. Onions are such a great versatile vegetable to have in your garden. They're easy to grow. So let's get into today's video and learn more about their origin story. Onions are another versatile vegetable that adds such a nice bite to any and every dish. With their well rounded palate, refreshing flavors, Onions are a special vegetable added to a garden. Onions were first cultivated in Central Asia, thought to be grown in Iran and West Pakistan by some researchers. From the first onions being grown by human civilizations, many other groups of people throughout, the, throughout time utilized the wild onion in their diet. Here are some groups of people that consumed onions. We have the Egyptians, Sumerians, Greeks, Romans, Indians, Native Americans, Chinese, and the Pilgrims. Onions have a close connection to previous civilizations like the Egyptians. In the sarcophagus of mummies, onions have been found in the thorax, they've been found in the pelvic region of the body, on top of the collapsed eye socket, and flattened against the ears. Onions, like many other vegetables, started out as wild plants that were cultivated into a stable crop for a community or society. Onions grow wild throughout the entire world. Make sure to check out our merch storefront where we have so much merch for you to check out for the fall and winter seasons. All of the merch that you purchase supports our Project Great program and the youth and families that we serve. Now let's get back to today's video. Onions are a part of a group or family called alliums, which include leeks, garlic, scallions, chives, and shallots. There are different types and varieties of onions that you can grow, and here are a few. We have yellow onions, red onions, white onions, sweet onions, scallions, shallots, pearl onions, ramps, and Cipollini, Cipollini onions, <laughs> which are a, an Italian variety. When growing onions, you must know the difference between short day and long day varieties. Long day varieties require 14 to 16 hours of daylight to form a bulb, which allows them to store longer and are grown in northern states. Short day onions require 10 to 12 hours of daylight to form a bulb and are grown in southern states. Short day onions can also be used for immediate use straight from your garden. Onions are a vegetable that can be grown in many different types of soil, sandy, clay, loamy, and they require minimum attention, but they must have lots of organic material because they are heavy, heavy feeders. So that also means that they must be watered on a consistent basis. This past year, we made sure to fertilize the garden with a slow release fertilizer while also using fish emulsion every two to three weeks. Here in Georgia, we are in zone 8B, which means that we start our onions in mid-August and transplant them out in mid-October to early November. Once the following summer comes, we harvest our onions in July all the way to early September. Sometimes even, we can leave our onions in the ground and they will produce seeds the following year in the summer. Last year, our harvest for onions was really great. In 2022, when we started our onions, we started um, our onions from seeds. And that was the first time we ever did that. Previously, we uh, purchased uh, onion, not onion sets. Well, I think we did purchase onion sets. And those are the small onions that you can get from your local garden center 
or like at Lowe's or Home Depot. And we did that. Um, I would not suggest purchasing onion sets because those are they they grow, but they don't grow as well versus you growing your own onions from seeds or purchasing from a, a, a local farm that grows onions from seeds and they deliver them to you and you can just grow the rest of the onion yourself. I would suggest you doing that versus buying onion sets from like Lowe's or Home Depot. But if you have to um, buy your onion sets, then so be it. But if you don't have to, I would say not to. But like I was saying, 2022, we started our onion seeds for a 2023 harvest, which was last year. And I would say last year's harvest was the best yet. As you can see in the video, we have onions on top of onions on top of onions. We had white onions, red onions, yellow onions. And I'm actually trying to pull up now the actual variety of onions that we um, had. Like I, like I mentioned, we started our own seeds and we also purchased um, some seeds. Well, not purchased seeds, but we purchased onions from a farm in Texas. And those onions grew so well and they bulbed so nicely. And it was amazing to just watch them every week do better and better and better with the way they were growing. And so the onions that we ordered, they came from Dixondale Farm. And this is, I believe this is like a family owned farm. And their, their plants are really nice. Like super nice when we got them. We ordered the short day sampler onions, which came with three different varieties of onions. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, short day is best for Southern states. Like since we're in Georgia, the three varieties that they sent us was perfect for our area and they did really well. As a tip to harvesting your onions, you want to look at the stalk of the plant. So you have the bulb, which is the piece of onion that is in the ground. And then you have the stalk of the onion that goes up into the leaves of that onion. And so where I'm pointing, you see... Um, two different onions. One onion has a very firm stalk, and that means that nutrition from the roots are still being provided to the plant through that stalk, through that stem to the leaves. Um, and so if the stem, aka stalk of your onion plant is still firm and it's not bent over like the other onion that I just showed you, that means that that onion is not ready to be harvested. Once that stalk, a.k.a. stem of the onion plant bends on its own over, it is then ready. OK, so make sure you take heed to that in the plant. Every time you have a plant, no matter what type of vegetable you're growing, the plant will let you know when it's ready to be harvested. Um, but because you want to keep in mind that plants are not growing food for us, we are growing food. But the plant's end goal is to create a new generation, which means they are creating seeds for AKA their children. So the seeds are their children. So they're creating their future. Okay. But you just want to keep that in mind um, as you are growing food in your garden. When you harvest your onions, you need to make sure that you cure them the exact same way that you cure your other root crops, like your sweet potatoes and your garlic. You're going, to leave, you're going to leave your onions in a cool, dry place without sun directly hitting them, and you're going to wait two weeks for them, for them to cure. This will allow you to enjoy your lovely harvest of onions. You should definitely grow your own onions because you will be able to gain the experience of planting and harvesting while also becoming connected to the thousands of years of history that this crop has. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let us know in the comments what you learned today and make sure to watch our other life cycle videos in this playlist. Check us out on our socials. We can be found on Instagram and Facebook at EBLLCINC and on TikTok at Project Grape. 
Until the next video, we will see you all later in the garden. Bye.